Welcome to Peru, everybody. Glad to be here, glad to be here. Thank you. Just landed in Arequiba, Peru. La Plaza de Armas. Central location of the city of Arequipa. Holy cow. It's unbelievable. Wait, Adam. Yeah. What are you feeling right now? I'm feeling look at this architecture. Just pan, pan out this architecture. This is probably like just some of the most amazing architecture you've seen. I mean, anywhere. Unbelievable. You're looking at really a good, beautiful, typical plaza. Which there is thousands of them in Latin America, right? There's no town without one. So this is the main position. Typically, the government building is facing the church, so church and state face each other. That? Not in every town, but in most. What was the government building that we passed by the All right. That was it. Oh, that was. Kevin, what just happened? All right, we on our journey, we just ran into a group of alpacas. Two of them. By the looks of them, they're vicious, ferocious man-eaters. Gonna have to keep our distance here. Luckily, I'm a trained professional. Oh, oh, they're so cute. Look, he's making some oh. 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 monastery in Arequipa. As you can see, it's almost modeled after a Spanish town. The streets are even a Spanish city. What was the city. highest number in the 1975 in the 1800s? How many now? 28. Yes. So, it's still an active monastery, it's just they're now in a secluded area, special area. Restrictions. Yeah, they could receive their visitors only twice a month. So they have to be in this room, they have to be in this courtyard, and that's it, during the time of training. We have some closets, the altar for the statue, you can see how they used to dress and how was the bed. This one is still at home, look after the parents. So they came to this place at the age of 12. From 12 to 16, they were going to stay in this area. A lot of prayers, meditation, also, they had to learn about the paintings. So these paintings are the litanies. They are these paintings are <laughs> compliments to the Virgin Mary. As you can see underneath, they have numbers. And what those numbers signify is the order in which you would pray to these paintings here. And if you take a look, we've got 15, 16, 17, 18, and it skips 19 goes to 20. Painter made a little bit of a mistake. So we are on our way to the Coca Canyon. We're in the National Reserve of Peru. And I'm gonna get Phil here. He's running top speed across the road here. I think he's gonna go grab some ash, volcanic ash from these formations. On our way to the Coca Canyon, and I went over to this. This is all volcanic um, ash over here that over the years have been eroding away. So I went over there to that little area over there, it looks like slough, and I put my hand in it and it was freezing cold, I mean real cold out in there. You can even see some of, there's some ice still out here, so I'm assuming this is real cold, you know, in the, uh, at night time. Wow. What is it? This is that moss. Yeah. Is the camera rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. Can't really see anything. This is a very hardy moss. It feels like stone. Yeah, it does. Oh my god. It grows up here. It's one of the only things you can grow up here. We're very high. Yes, we are. 16,000 feet. I can barely breathe. So, somebody from anthropology class can tell me what the terracing is all about, right? Yes. yes. Okay. How to tell us. Terracing is all about saving topsoil. Yeah. So right. You want to build, build flat so you know, the water doesn't come and wash it all down, down the hill. That's it. And you know, they're still using a lot of terracing around the world, right? You go to Java or Sumatra in Indonesia or Southeast Asia, terracing's all over the place in Africa, parts of Africa and India. Because Moray. 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 We're in Moray, and this was some kind of experiment. It's a potato laboratory. Yeah, I guess it's, you know, they call it a laboratory. It was an experiment in hybridizing and changing their potato. 
according to the altitude it grows in. As you can see, the terraces, concentric circles up the, the mountain here. And they would just get the potatoes used to a different altitude slowly and slowly and slowly until it could be. This lady just scaled this thing 10 times as fast as any of us could to sell Jay you gotta, you gotta go up there. some stuff here. Also, check out Ashley and Bill. And now, I swear year. to God, this lady, I mean, she hoofed it down these stairs. Like, record speed. It'll, it'll and I mean, now, you're, you're checking out the, uh, the Americans here trying at it. Yeah, they're coming. And I, I kid you not, this lady was going. Full speed it run. It looked like down she was thing. on skates, actually. Yeah. She was going so fast. So here we are, riding horses above the city of Cusco. You can see some small ruins down there. That sucks, that woman. Alright, what's this place? Salinas? Uh, Salinas. The salt mines. Salinas, the salt mines, yes. <laughs> used to preserve the food of the Incas. It's not just a great condiment. <laughs> salt mine. Salt mine. Who's excited about salt mining? On the other side of the mountain is the game. Come on! Come on! Oh, you and Kawai have the same camera. You got it? Wait, hold on. Oh, sorry. Okay, one. Oh. Okay, one. Okay, one. Okay, one. Okay, one. Okay, one. Okay, <laughs> yeah, they, I guess down here they say fiestas. Yeah, some of like the little boys said that to me too. <laughs> ¿Te gusta la escuela? Sí. Sí. Ah. ¿Dónde está tu escuela? En Cusco, allá abajo. En Cusco. We just met Rosalita on top of this ruin right here. And um, she told us that her aunt is actually working in the fields down here, so that's why she's just hanging out up on top of them. the ruins there. My aunt's do, her uh, family does the work during the day, and I guess she gets the rest for now. Fortunate for her, her life will not be so easy for long here in Peru, from what I can tell. <laughs> In this moment, I explain about the watch. For the watch, I use a special route. You can see here, this is a very special route. I use it for the watch. The sheet wool, alpaca wool, when it's dirty, and I watch too my hair and my clothes. It's natural detergent for me, natural shampoo, and it's a, we call it saktana. This is one fruit, yeah? A root? This is one fruit, one plant. The most important wow, root is no pollution in this area and it's not yes. damage the hands. Uh, it's good for the hands. It goes to the river. No problem, no contamination, so no pollution. It's natural. The smell is natural. Mm -hmm. No lemons, no deterrents, no oh, chemical products. It's natural, yes. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look different. Look different. Trish Link, a phone girl. Someone is filming to show you your head school. See. Sí. This is an ancestral, ancestral word. You can see my friend. Wow. wow. You can see the difference. Yeah. The smell is natural. No lemons. 
This is the first color of cochinilla with a cold water. It's a dark red color, I guess. For the fix the color, I use different minerals. I use salt, I use lemon juice, volcanic hair, and stones. In this moment, I use a lemon juice. What happened when I put this change the color very quick? Wow. I get orange. You can see? Yeah. Orange color. And the cochinilla is not only for the delay the colors. I use to be the lipstick. When I go to the dance in Carnival wow. Festival, you can see here. Ooh. It's 24 hours. Wow. Wow. It's the most important to resist the two kisses. Ah. <laughs> well, mm. in this moment, I make a demonstration. This is the cochinilla boil until 30 minutes. You look the first color. Cochinillo is the bug. This is the first color of cochinillo. Dark red. Dark red. This moment, from the fix, the color I use in the magazine, anything. The design she has in the mind, she has is 42 different designs in the mind. Her grandmother, her grandmother, is her teacher in the week. For example, I learned it with my grandmother. I learned to star about seven years old. I learned, uh, I make a small belt, small scarf. When I had the 15 or 25 years old, I learned more difficult design. My grandmother is my teacher in the way. And you look here. She used a special pyramid. This is a llama bone. We call this rookie. Pizza here in the market. Um, all the people come here, different cultures to sell. Let's see what do we have here? I have no idea. We're about to go to a church, see a mixed Catholic. Yeah, a Quechua mixed, Catholic mass. Yeah, it's like a mix of Indian and Catholic religion. And as you can see, we are nestled in the middle of a canyon. I don't know if you guys can see out through the hills here, but we are nestled pretty deep. Oh, hola. <laughs> no gracias. <laughs> gracias. Si, sí, si, sí, una foto. Un sol grande, ¿no? She glad for it too. Picunas. On the way to the Coca Canyon, we have stumbled upon some picunas related to llamas and llamas. Cuidado, cuidado, cuidado.